And accompanying our president, our host today, a competing member of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association, Secretary of Commerce, Mac Baldridge. We will feature here this afternoon some of our greatest champions, past and present. And first of all, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet some of the greatest champions that our sport of rodeo has ever known. Cowboy in 16 total world's titles, Jim Shoulders. Two times world's champion, once bareback, and six times world's champion saddle bronc rider, Casey Tibbs. And finally, twice our bull riding king and six times the holder of the most coveted title in our sport, that of the all-around champion cowboy of the world, Larry Mahan. We have a little glamour, a lot of glamour in our sport. Here is a pretty lady that's the world's champion barrel racer from Arizona, pretty Jan Hansen. Our sport advice to perpetuate my brand of liberty and I left him in places like Tarawa and Iwo Jima during World War II, the slopes of Korea and the steamy jungles of Vietnam, and lately in the Middle East. I'm a cotton field down south and I'm a wheat field in the Midlands. And I'm old Freckles Brown riding a bull at the National Finals Rodeo that had never been ridden before. And I'm a wobbly-legged calf getting his first bit of nourishment from his mammy in the Western Range country. I'm 300,000 churches where my people worship and I'm the hushed voice of a choir in a cathedral. You see, I was born in freedom, and God willing and freedom, I'll spend the rest of my days. May my people always have the strength, the honor, the integrity, and the courage to keep me free and a beacon of hope for the entire world. Yes, that's what I would say if I could talk. Our gracious and heavenly Father, And now, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, the professional rodeo cowboy. And young cowboy, Mickey Young, in the year. Red Wing, the name of the horse. Come on, Mickey, try. A 75-point ride in the lead right now. Gotta be better than that. Now, you notice the cowboy's feet up front above the break of the shoulders. Remember the better three points for Mickey Young, 73. T.J. Walters, Stephenville, Texas cowboy. Here is the second vice president of the Pro Rodeo Cowboys Association, buck and shoot in Stephenville, Texas, 10 times to the National Finals Rodeo. Has his rigging set right now on a horse we call Slick Rock, National Finals horse. Good horse, the Cowboys drawn. Watch this 10 time in FR Cowboys. Now do it on the Slick Rock. Go on, go on. Do it. Oh, -ho. ooh. T.J. feeling good today. T.J. Walter of Stephenville, Texas. 
Wrangler Pro officials, one to 25 for the Cowboy, one to 25 for the horse on each side. They just bear back right the Cowboys in history. Bruce Ford of Percy, Colorado, born free. Watch this Cowboy just rear back and square. That's what he does. Feeling the joy of that horse and that bareback back rigging. Leather sir, single one hand in it, the other hand high in the air. Bruce Ford set down. He's safe. A pair of 79s. 7777 points are without a doubt causing these bullfighters to be three. Wrangler money on the Wrangler Trail Pro Rodeo Bullfighting Tour. Each of these top bullfighters will pit their athletic ability against some of the most dangerous. They call him Mr. Smooth Rex Dunn. His hair. And from Crosby, Texas, the reigning champion bullfighter of the world, Skipper. Digging in that dirt, he was working his way back and forth. It is so effortless for this young cowboy from Oklahoma they call Mr. Smooth. Rex Dunn, the talented young man right now, getting the bull where he wants it. Ooh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, Benny B is inside the barrel, and Rex says, come on, buddy, play with me. Look at him put his hands on that bull's head, would you? Fight him, Rex. Go to him, son. Make him do your game. He's got 30 seconds. That whistle signifies 60 seconds is up. Ooh. 2,000 pounds of black fighting bull. Oh, 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 Rex, he does it. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, camp, here he comes right now. Look at this. Come on, do it, Joe! Oh, 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 oh. oh little Joe. Look at this. He left. You talk about a beautiful run for the vice president. Little Joe, we're proud of your beautiful run here today. 11.3. So will the rodeo performance take a look? Here he comes right now. Come on. Oh, no. 11.3's in the lead. Go for it, Jim. Got a good start. And a boy, Jimmy. Come on now. Go, Jimmy. Go. Hurry. Oh. oh. Oh, no. Ooh, there you go. Now he's got that pick and string down. One, two, three, never give up. That's the American way. You'll get it done someday. Yes, come on, John Ride, do it. John Davis of Homedale, Idaho. Look at him go. Eric Pierce moves in, takes the ball away. And ooh, John Davis. What do you think of that, huh? I think, I think I'd be speaking for all of you if I said a heartfelt thank you to all these people who have entertained us so royally here today. The There aren't too many activities in this land of ours with all the many things we do that are as purely American as what we have seen here. We're very proud of all of you and grateful to you. You know, a rodeo here on the East Coast, I think, establishes the fact that rodeos are now a national sport, not just a kind of a Western pastime. Matt, uh, yeah. hey. Madison Avenue, the advertising business, they found that out a long time ago. They found out Americans still love cowboys and cowgirls. And, uh, of course, there's been one advertisement that I've never quite understood. And that is that one, the picture, and there's a cowboy out there in the middle of a herd of cattle, and the caption on the picture is, come where the flavor is. <laughs> I, <laughs> but, again, I just... I just want to thank you, and uh, what a bit of West you brought here. You know, we, we have a ranch in California, and tomorrow I'm getting on an airplane and going to New York. <laughs> but, 
God bless all of you. It's been a wonderful day, and all of this has been wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. President, for being our honored guest. Ladies and gentlemen, please, we ask if you would remain in your places for a few moments until the presidential party has left the area. Thank you.